Hey friends and happy holidays. There's only a couple more days left and Christmas will be here. So we wanted to come out and take advantage of all the holiday festivities around the Walt Disney World Resort. But we decided to come to Epcot to start off because something major has happened. So let's go do this. Look at that, the walls are down and we can see the entrance now in its full bloom. This gets me so excited. Look at those pylons. Isn't it just so beautiful? I absolutely love it. So many people are gathering around now just to take a look at it. I'm just happy to see the fountain and I'm more than happy to see the pylons. It's really gonna look pretty at night so we're definitely gonna come back and check it out. Now that we've been able to just enjoy the new Epcot entranceway and the pylons and fountain, we're gonna actually head into Epcot and enjoy that a little bit. Maybe try some festival of the holiday stuff. I'm just excited to be here. I'm excited to see that that is actually open and we can have a clear shot at Spaceship Earth. <laughs> Another thing I'd be interested in doing since we're at Epcot is maybe hopping on the Skyliner and just taking a leisurely ride to one of the resorts, see if they have a Christmas drink and then come back over. I do want to see if I can catch the Voices of Liberty tonight. It being close to Christmas, it just seems right. That means I'm going to head straight on into World Showcase. Another new thing other than the pylons that popped up today is a new Moroccan bar that actually just popped up because you do realize that it's been closed for a long time and now Disney is actually operating it. So we can check that out plus some festival of the holiday stuff plus maybe hop on a Skyliner for a ride. I'm liking the idea of today. I can see the moon is in the sky right there. Also the Christmas tree for Epcot, which I love. And I can see Jackie super enthused. Oh, hello, my friend. Yes, we're going to be joining. You're going to be joining me and yes. we're going to be joining each other. Yes. <laughs> as our festivities continue around World Showcase. I am loving hearing all the Christmas music as we walk around World Showcase. Look at how beautiful it is. It's just one of my favorite places to actually be. And look who's coming over the bridge right now. I'm so excited. Hey friends. We love you. <laughs> oh. And here we are in Morocco. Like I said, most of this has just recently reopened and this little pop-up bar that they have over here, that just reopened today. I cannot wait to see if the Tangerine Cafe opens. That has one of my favorite Epcot coffee drinks. They've got some fancy champagne, including some Dom Perignon, $45 for a five ounce pour. And then some of the Cronenberg beer. I had this Cronenberg beer. This isn't Moroccan beer though. I had this at, uh, I think I had it at Cinderella Castle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. And then right across the way, the Spice Road table. This is the new menu that they're actually having. I'm interested in getting the iced mint tea. It's a specialty cocktail. I think it sounds pretty, pretty amazing actually, wow. Or that Mar Maharita? What is that? Oh man, we've got some deciding to do. I think I'm super excited to try the Maharita. I can't even believe I've never been inside the Spice Road table. I don't know if I'm gonna get any food. Jackie might get some food, but I'm all about the Maharita though. Good, good. Yeah. Thank you. One thing about the Spice Road table is I've never known they had an indoor seating area. Look at this. This is so fancy. Look at this table. This is definitely too fancy for one person. I, like I said, I didn't even know that they had an indoor dining. I'm always just seen outside, but it's very nice in here. I wouldn't mind actually just chilling in here watching the fireworks usually too. Like this is a good view. They've got all of those very tall windows and you just take a look right out onto World Showcase. You can see everything, the Christmas tree, Spaceship Earth, even the barge now. And it looks like a little pigeon poo. Since Disney actually took it back over and is now operating, they decided to just switch to kind of like a tapas style with just small plates and they have hummus fries that they carried over. A couple of new things like the cauliflower, but what we're interested in getting is the actual Spice Road table sampler. And that comes with a whole bunch of different stuff that we can all try. But like I said, I'm interested in getting the Maharita, which I don't know if I'm saying right. It just seems so like different. I've never had 
big brandy before, I don't think so. This is gonna be a treat. I knew this was gonna be an interesting drink. Mm. Wow, Maharita, right? Maharita. Maharita. Mm -hmm. Wow, I definitely said that wrong, but I can see the pomegranate seeds. This is like super fancy, Loading isn't it? Drinks. Also, the sampler has come out, and take a look at this. This is the spiced chicken. This is the lamb right here. And this is some kind of like phyllo puff pastry with different types of cheese in it. I'll look it up for you, but that seems something I would not eat. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I like the idea behind it, but I'm all about the chicken. I'm gonna have to try this now. Yeah, definitely hard to drink out of fancy glasses, but it does make you fancy. Ooh, that's different. I like it. Very delicious. It is a very, very delicious drink. Definitely something I've never like tasted before. It has a uniqueness to it. And I like that because normally you drink tons of different mist drinks and everything like that. But this actually has something that I tasted, I've never tasted before. I'm gonna try some of this food. I'm definitely gonna try the hummus here. Well, the hummus french fries. Jackie absolutely loves them and she's been really telling me how good they are. So I gotta give it a go. That's good. Yeah. I actually really did enjoy the hummus fries, but now I want to try this chicken. This looks really good. Look. I just couldn't find my fork, so that's why I'm going <laughs> with the knife. All of this was very delicious, but my favorite probably was that spiced chicken. That was really, really good. Second was definitely the hummus fries, and then the meatball, or the, the lamb kefta, which I really enjoyed. I didn't try this one, though. <laughs> it just didn't like all the overpowering cheese. Everything else was amazing. Now it's time to head out. This was actually the patio that I was talking about before. I only thought that the restaurant was like right here. I had no idea that there was inside dining. Wow, I've never been able to see the actual balloon from Disney Springs from Epcot before. Take a look at that. Like, I feel like that's just crazy. Do you see it right there? That is so fancy. Spice Road table was really, really fun. I'm shocked at how much food I actually enjoyed there. Now we're actually gonna go check out some of the resorts and maybe take a spin on the Skyliner. It's been something I wanted to do for the holidays for quite some time now. I'm just loving the atmosphere though here right now. Look at that music. Look at how beautiful this view is. And we're gonna get a good view of everything that's happening in the France Pavilion from the Skyliner. But first, I think we're gonna head on over and get some drinks at the Yacht Club. Look how beautiful it is over here. I'm so excited. Like I said, we're gonna come over here. I know Martha's Vineyard actually has some really special Christmas cocktails. And last year, they had the best Halloween cocktail. So I'm really excited to see what they come up with because normally you wouldn't think Martha's Vineyard is throwing out the amazing cocktails that they have been, but they are. I wish Jackie still had her sanitizer. Beach Club me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't have any more. Beach Club me. <laughs> and here it is, Martha's Vineyard. I can't wait to show you these Christmas cocktails. Oh, there's a sign right here. Look at this. They look amazing. A candy cane martini and under the mistletoe. Look at that one. They're so nice. They look so festive looking too, right? I love how you can just sit down in here, watch Mickey Mouse shorts and drink Christmas cocktails, right? It's like a little living room. How about we put, oh wow! We'll put one here, and then we'll put this in the middle, Beautiful. and then we'll put the other one here. Thank that you. That is so awesome. They're beautiful. Aren't they amazing? This is the under the mistletoe, and this is the candy cane martini. Wow! Honestly, guys, this is it. I really believe before I even try these, these are going to be the best Christmas drinks of the year. So any Christmas drinks that I've had, uh, I think that this is going to be the best just by presentation alone. But we are gonna have to try them. Oh, I gotta say something. So Jackie got the candy cane martini and I got under the mistletoe, but I feel like I'm gonna probably get one of those too. Yeah. I mean, I love it, but we're gonna try these. Yeah. So cheers. Sugar. Ooh. It's very delicious. It's like a bubbly. It's like a champagne. 
Jackie said that she really enjoyed this candy cane martini, so I'm definitely gonna get one. This is actually very delicious, and I'm not even a big sparkling fan, but you get the bobo, bio, uh, the bobo balls in the bottom there, but I really, really, really do enjoy this drink. Jackie's drink looked so good, I needed to get one for myself as well, because I love peppermint, I love Christmas cocktails. This is the perfect combination for me. So I am super excited to try this one. Oh my lord, that is amazing. Wow. I mean, the under the mistletoe drink is amazing, but this is this is the winner. This is the overall winner right here. Champion, champion. Absolutely amazing this drink is. I can't believe I waited two days before Christmas to come over here to get this. I probably would have had it a couple times by now. That's how much I like it. The thing that makes this peppermint martini so good is that they actually use their milkshake base inside here. So the milkshake base from Beaches and Cream plus peppermint schnapps, Stoli vanilla liquor, and then cherry grenadine. That, that's like... I don't even know if it's cherry grenadine. I don't know. It's just grenadine. It's just amazing. Perfect combination. I absolutely love this. That was so good to get those holiday cocktails. They were so amazing. The peppermint martini was my favorite, but under the mistletoe was just as good. But I love peppermint. That's just my favorite thing. Now we are going to cut through the lobby, see if they have any Christmas decorations, and then board the Skyliner, head to Riviera. I wanted to come out to the lobby just to see if they had any Christmas decorations for the actual season. And look at this, they actually do. It looks very nice here. They used to have a lot of gingerbread displays here. I think they had a gingerbread carousel here, but you notice all of the gingerbread things didn't happen this year. So it's nice to just see the trees and the lit up garland. It's a beautiful lobby. We need to get moving along though, because like I said, I was really aiming to get on the Skyliner and see the sunset. And I think we're just in time because it's looking beautiful out right now. And I think we're gonna be able to see it. Yeah. Look at that beautiful sky. This is amazing. Oh, I can hear the boat horn. I'm so excited. Quick, to the Skyliner. -na 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 -na. I was walking to the Skyliner. We were in a big hurry, but we had to stop and just appreciate this. Holy moly. I am so blown away. This is why I love Florida. Now it's time to get on the Skyliner. It's definitely losing its light here, but I'm so excited to see all the great things as we actually board it and take flight. Oh boy. Here we come. I feel like we are about to have a beautiful Skyliner ride. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. And we're going to be able to say Gusto's all lit up. Are you kidding me? Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with a final stop at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Oh, we hope is. you enjoyed your visit to Epcot and World Showcase. Did you learn how to say hello in a different language today? A fiery sunset? This is amazing. This is just so beautiful right now. Look at this. You know I'm crazy about the sunsets. Can't get any better than this right now. This is amazing. That was absolutely perfect timing. The sky was perfect. Now I don't think, I think it's going away. Yeah, yeah it's basically going away. Oh my God. We literally made it just by the seconds. Oh, we really did. Now we're coming up on Riviera. That's where we're going next. Look how beautiful this resort is, especially with those two big RRs at the top. Very fancy. Exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your step. Thank you for flying with us. Por favor, permanezcan hasta que las puertas... Wow, Riviera Resort is just so beautiful. Look at it in here. I love it. I have never seen the Riviera actually decorated for Christmas. It looks beautiful. I'm sure it's going to even look better when we get up to the lobby. 
it's such a subtle little lobby here. I like it. It's very not too much. Very close. I like all the garland and the wreaths and their own little Christmas tree here. Look at that. Inside the cafe, they actually have a big selection of winter beverages or holiday cocktails, including the Bon Bon River. Look at this, it is a candy dream peppermint bark cocktail with Stoli vanilla, cream de coco, and then vanilla cream. Look how amazing that looks though. And then a midnight martini and a spirit lefit. Wow, I think I'm gonna go with this one though because that just looks amazing. I think we're just gonna call this the candy dream for short because that's what it says in parentheses, but I am so excited to actually try this drink. It looks so festive looking. Look at this, absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to dive into it. This is basically kind of like the peppermint martini, but more with the chocolate aspect. I'm, I'm a little excited. This is something else right here. I love it. I think I like the peppermint one better, but this one is really cool because also the froth on top is a little hot, but you get definitely a strong taste of chocolate and peppermint together. Very enjoyable. If you guys know, Jackie has been talking about the winter solstice and the Christmas star recently, so we decided to see if we can go up to the 10th floor and maybe try to get a good look at the Christmas star, hopefully. Holy moly, Jackie, do you see this view? Look at this, guys, isn't it beautiful? Holy moly. We're gonna be able to see this actually just go down. So please, tell me, what is the great conjunction that we're looking at here? Well, this is Jupiter and Saturn. They actually appear to be very close to us, but they're actually quite far apart from each other. But at this moment, well, actually last night, they, they appeared to be so close that they were meant to appear as one bright star. That hasn't happened in 800 years, and it happens on the winter solstice, so close to Christmas, that people are dubbing it the Christmas star or the star of Bethlehem. It's sort of a portent of something Christmassy and special, a beautiful celestial event. So that's it, folks, right there. That's the Christmas star. That is Saturn, and what's the other planet? Jupiter, Saturn and Jupiter, right above Galaxy's Edge at Hollywood Studios. Galaxy's Edge is all lit up if you look right below the actual star shining bright in the sky and they call it the Christmas star. I'm so happy that Jackie introduced this to me because I feel like it's such an amazing event that we're catching right now. That was so amazing that we were able to witness that just at the perfect time, perfect moment. We've been really getting lucky with like the perfectness, right? Yeah. Like the, that's so the perfect sunset timing. on the skyliner. Yeah. The actual winter solstice happening, and we're just seeing it so visible from the top of Topolino's. Now we're gonna have to hop back on the skyliner, make our way back over to Epcot. Back to Epcot. Back! Back to Epcot. Look at that. Whoever is staying in that room right there put a Christmas tree in their room. They put Christmas lights up. Wow, that's so awesome. Now we're gonna head back to the Skyliner. If I was here during Christmas, I'd definitely go out to Walmart and buy a Christmas tree. Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Thank you! <laughs> Happy holidays! Oh, that's us! Thank you! Bye! It's so quiet when you're actually taking the Skyliner at night. I don't even know why, but everything... Your passports. Oh, we are on our way to... Never mind. Welcome to Epcot. Thank you. Now it's around 7 o'clock. Epcot's open till 9 o'clock tonight. So we've got to enjoy quite a bit so far. And plus we're still looking at maybe checking out the pylons during a night time. But I really want to see if Voices of Liberty is actually playing. I don't know if they ended early or not. But that'd be a great way to cap off the night. If not, we'll find some other festive things to do. It's Epcot. It looks like the lights are on in the American Gardens Theater. So maybe we can catch the Voices of Liberty. But maybe that was their last show. I don't know. We're going to walk over there to find out regardless. Looks like just as we were rolling up on the American Garden Theater, they shut the lights off. We missed the last show of Voices Liberty just by a second. But I guess that's just how things, that's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. That's just how it goes. I'm still very thankful that we've gotten to do so much tonight. So, and there's still plenty to explore around Epcot. It's only like 7.30, so plenty of time. 
since we were over here by the American Gardens Theater and we weren't able to catch Voices of Liberty, I think I'm gonna get a funnel cake and they actually have a festival, the holidays funnel cake, and it's a sweet potato casserole one. Look how amazing this looks. I'm excited to try it. Oh boy, look at this. Thank you. Oh wow. This does not look like your normal funnel cake. I like it. Wow, this looks so good actually. So this has been here for a while and I've been eyeing it up. I love funnel cakes. So it'd be nice to see a sweet potato batter. Oh boy. I'm interested. This is looking so festive. This is so good. You can really taste the difference in batter. Like the sweet potato batter really stands out. I love it. I absolutely love this dish. It was so good to actually try the funnel cake this year because the last time I had a funnel cake, it was a street corn one, which was kind of like, I think that was for Flower and Garden, but it was like a kind of like a savory funnel cake. And I was just like, this doesn't belong. But now to see a like sweet potato casserole one, now that fits as a funnel cake and it was delicious. I think we're just gonna head right back out to the front of the park now so we can check on the pylon lights. If you can see, you can see like a spotlight shining coming straight from Spaceship Birth. And I can't wait to see how bright the pylons look at night. It's gonna be interesting. Big one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here. Oh, I was I was watching this <laughs> unfold. <laughs> Have you come to join us for a for a nice nice treat here? In, I, I believe so. <laughs> that was so nice. We were able to run into Katie and Spencer, best life and beyond, before they actually left. Tonight was their last night. I'm glad we got to say goodbye, so we just chit chat a little bit and hopefully we'll reconnect either when Disneyland opens back up and I'll go over there or they'll be back over here to Disney World. Probably when they come back to Disney World, that's going to be sooner. And now we're going to keep going and get back to those pylons. We are just about there and you can really see the spotlight from the pylons from here, can't you? And look at that reflection in the water. I'm so excited. Oh my lord, it's so beautiful and I want to present it to you in the best way possible. So I don't want to give away anything yet. Look how beautiful this is. Wow. That's all I can say. I love the color scheming. This is what Epcot is. I can picture it. This is perfect. This is literally so perfect. And can you see the lights and the circles going round and round? Do you see those, Jackie? You'll see like the glitter, oh. the, 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 the circles, you see it? Right? Yeah, it's like a little reflection. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Look at that. The lights actually do change. So you'll see different colors and angles and you see down at the water right here, it's kind of just like a beautiful rainbow. Oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait to see everything fully finished at Epcot. It's gonna be amazing. Also something new is take a look at the Spaceship Earth manhole cover right here in front of the fountain. That is amazing. Well, I guess with that, I think we're gonna call it a night here. I mean, look at it. It's amazing. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.